So we are at a hip camp just outside of Townsville. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a bummer. That is incredible. We got some new friends this morning. So we're free now. We've developed a rattle too. Hey guys. G'day guys and welcome back to another episode. Hey, before we get stuck into this one, I wanna let you know that we are now working with Kickass. Uh, you'll see a full battery system behind us. This is going into the Ranger. You'll see that in an upcoming episode. Now, we have a discount code for you for Kickass products. Uh, now or never, we'll get you 10% off the entire range. So make sure you jump on over to their website and grab yourself a bargain. And uh, the Kickass Music Festival, 8th and 9th of September, we are going to be there camping in Bertha, having an absolute cracker of a time. Hope to see you there. But without further ado, let's get stuck into this episode. All right, it's time to leave this cracker of a spot. Of course, the weather's turning it on today, hey? That's a bloody beautiful day. But anyway, <laughs> that's how the cookie crumbles. All right, we're taking out some trees on the way out. Yeah. We cleared the left-hand side, but the right-hand side's pretty tight. Uh, should they go in front or a bit in behind? That didn't sound child-friendly. Oh, okay. Yep. About 30 centimetres. But I can't feel them through this bush. You're fine. You'll be right. I don't know if the dogs have ever been this close to horses before, but they're doing all right. They're not barking or anything. Bowie's pretty curious. So we are at a hip camp just outside of Townsville uh, called Kuthera. Is it called Kuthera, Alex? What's that, sorry? The hip camp. Kuthera? I, I can't remember. I think that's what it's it called. Up. Anyway, we'll put a little snapshot or something in. Um, it's a beautiful little spot. We've got a spot right on the dam. Heaps of animals. You're allowed fires. She even gives you firewood yeah, and stuff. Yeah, firewood hey? included. 30 bucks a night. Um, yeah. Extra two bucks. What did we buy? Oh, eggs. eggs. Yeah. Uh, half a dozen eggs. And um, there's, so there's three spots here. So yeah, I think one just of three. Along here, yeah. You just sort of pick wherever, but they just allow three people at a time. But the horses are super friendly. The dogs are settling in. Like I said, Bowie's a bit more curious than Cooper. We don't often go hip camps. Not no. that there's anything against them. We just normally just open wiki and go for it. Yeah, we don't really think to use it, but we're trying to more, hey? Well, yeah, there just wasn't much on wiki as in for free or cheaper in Townsville. Yeah. Unless but you wanted to be in like the big four and everything. Caravan parks are super expensive and with dogs, it's like can be quite difficult too so we're finding the hip camps a little bit more free rain hey mm. so would, we might try and do a bit more of those oh cooper oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the geese aren't happy they just started chasing me how are you noisy about this all right, we've just come for a walk down to the Townsville Esplanade, I guess it is. It's pretty, pretty nice. It is, isn't it? It's very, very similar vibes to uh, Cairns, really. Mm. You were saying that before, it feels like Cairns. But um, we've got a little island over here. Well, it's not a little one. I was going to say that's not little. It's big. <laughs> Did my research this time, that's Magnetic Island. We made sure we checked it. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have to correct me on whatever I thought it was last time. Oh, dear. <laughs> But hey, we're just going to have a little walk around today and just check the place out.
So one of the main attractions on the waterfront here that you can do is the lagoon or the rock pool. But um, I don't think we're doing that. <laughs> She's a little bit dry. Not ideal. <laughs> Says it's closed for maintenance. Oh, until the 23rd, which is from, which is five days which away. When we leave. <laughs> uh, what a bummer. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. Anyway. This is the kids' new thing, having to find basketball courts everywhere we go. <laughs> it's good because it keeps them active, I guess, but not like a bike park where you can just like let them go. They always want you to play with them and block them and see if they can get past you. <laughs> Right, you can't come to Townsville without coming up to Castle Hill, 286 metres above sea level, and the view is phenomenal. That is incredible. What do you reckon? Holy moly, that's amazing. This is just insane, the view up here. That would be something from the war time, I'd say. Tell you what, the people you run into in the <laughs> most obscure places. We're just there in the car park here at Castle Hill and we hear our names getting yelled out. We turn around and it's bloody Tony and Deb who we met down ages ago. Like, it was like three weeks or something into our first lap. So that's about right. 18 months ago. Down at Diamond Head, which is um, in New South Wales. And we had a blast there with them. Um, and it's just crazy to run into them yeah. randomly here. Yeah, of all places <laughs> at a lookout in Townsville. <laughs> so I might have volunteered Alex to help some people with their caravan problems. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of cooking dinner tonight, well, he is still going to cook on the barbecue, but um, I'm just going to help out. So we're doing this beautiful picanha from Meet at Billy's um, and just something different. We've got the jackalope rub, which we love, but I've got this that's in the cupboard that I just really want to get rid of. So, and it'll still be delicious. So. I'm going to use this on it this time and then Alex is going to whack it on the barbie. We're just going to have some mash that's on the go and some other veggie. I don't know yet. I haven't decided, but hopefully it's a good one. I'm sure it will be like picanha has never done us wrong. So I'm pretty excited about it. All right, I'm back. Hey, like Aaron said, I've been over at our neighbors. Um, they just bought a JB secondhand and there's all kinds of stuff going on with it only due to the previous owners mucked around with so much stuff and changed things it's just it's a bit of a mess to be honest but anyway showing them through it and they're gonna they're gonna get there <laughs> um but <laughs> we're gonna do this big cook up i was so here was the plan we were coming back here we we're lighting the fire early because you know i can't do that i don't know how to do it <laughs> and he still hasn't done it <laughs> <laughs> and i got talking i cracked my first beer and we got talking to people anyway long story short I went to school with that bloke. <laughs> yeah, they've just worked out. Yeah, they've, they know heaps of the same people. They yeah. went to school at the same high school for a while. Oh, I don't remember him. He doesn't remember me. But it's just wild. It's just... What a small world. There's literally two caravans here. Yeah, and this has Us happened. Two. This is not the first time this has happened. No. But anyway, we've got a beautiful picanha here. Yeah. Actually, you might turn that fan off, eh? That'll be a little bit noisy in the back. Thank you. Beautiful picanha. You know we love picanha. It's one of our favourite cuts. So anyway, <laughs> this is what's happening. We're not cooking this on the fire. I've got the Weber going. We're going to cook this up, a few greens with it, and a bit of mashed potato. It's going to be delicious. Simple but delicious. How is it, everyone? Great. Toby's cutting the fat off the best bit. Oh, my God. Anyway, hey, picanha, a.k.a. rump cap. I'll say it again. If you have not tried this cup before, go down to your butcher, ask them for it. It's so tasty. Yeah. I don't know what is different about it, but it's got so much flavour. I can't believe I spent 34 years of my life by the time I found this stuff out and hadn't had it. 
It's just the best. So good. We got some new friends this morning. <laughs> we do. Give me pups. Give me pups. Oh, the Stella. Stella. Come here, Stella. Good boy, puppy. Hey. So these puppies just rocked up from who knows where. We think they were just across the road from the farm over there. I don't really know. <laughs> what are you doing? This is the worst way. <laughs> There we go. Uh, they're the cutest little pups. We don't we don't oh, even know gosh. where they're from. No. But they just rocked up with daddy. Good boy. Hey. Oh, you want to play footy? <laughs> <laughs> you want to play footy? <laughs> oh man, these are proper kelpies, eh? Like they're 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 a cross by the looks, but they this one wants to play. Not like ours, they just want to sleep. Hey. Hey. <laughs> So our little visitors have ended up staying for a while. Well, two of the three. One of the puppies has ran, we assume, back across the road. And this one's just quite content here. And dad, I assume dad. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we can't really go anywhere because we don't want to leave. Well, the dad keeps going off. So we don't want to leave the puppy just randomly sitting around and we can't find any owners. But, on a positive note, our dogs are doing really well. Hey, Cooper. Cooper, you doing good? <laughs> hey, so the puppy situation is sorted. Yes. Turns out it is across the road. He's been away working and his mate was supposed to lock them away because they keep escaping. <laughs> and obviously he didn't. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get out now because it sort of tied us to the caravan all morning. Yeah, it's... we didn't want to leave them because like, there is cars and stuff going up this road. So we were a bit worried. And it was a good experience for our dogs to be around dogs for a while, so mm. yes, we're free now. So, we're going to go find a brewery, have mm. some lunch and some beers. Because we've just saved ourselves $360, kind of, in a way. <laughs> so we're going to go spend that money. Yeah. Why is that? Well, not How did much. we? <laughs> we were going to try and get to Magnetic Island, but typical us, we're not organised and we can't make it happen. We can't get a dog sitter, we can't get over there. For any longer than like four hours and for 360 dollars we'd probably want a little bit longer than that so 100 we would so here's the situation you can take your car over to magnetic island which would be great because the dogs can be in the back mm. but it's like booked out for quite some time school yep. holidays coming up um and then the other way is we looked at dog sitters while we go over for the day and then we catch the ferry and then we hire a car over there. Mm -hmm. But the time frame while the dog sitters were open, we'd only get a couple of hours. Yep. So look, we're gonna put that on the list. We're back up here in another few months time. Yep. We're gonna do it then. We're gonna book it in and make sure we yes, get over there. Yes, we're gonna make sure we get there. <laughs> hey, but this is this is the reality of traveling. If you do wing it like we do a lot and you don't book things in, yep. you just gotta work around it. You'd, Sometimes it doesn't work out. A hundred percent. And you go to a brewery instead. So not all is bad. Mm. <laughs> Righto guys, it's moving day. Hey, um, yesterday we went to that Townsville Brewing. That was a good joint. They do allow dogs. You just got to sit in that outside area on the road. Um, but good food. They had good beers there too. And then uh, when we got back to camp here, Lloyd, the guy that owns the dogs and lives across the road, he came over and just said thank you again. And then um, said, why don't you come over? I'll take you down to the river in my buggy um, with their son as well, with his son. And um, we jumped in the buggy. It was pretty wild, wasn't it, Eric? Oh, some of the sections were so steep, it set my anxiety off so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Those Polaris buggies, holy, they are capable little things. They did little hill climbs yesterday like I've never seen anything do. Not little hill climbs, they were They like were steep. Big they big were nearly vertical. <laughs> anyway, that was awesome. You let the kids have a drive of the buggy. They absolutely loved it. They killed it too. They did so good. Now they're desperate for a buggy. That's all they've been talking about <laughs> since they got back is how they're saving for a buggy. Yeah, so one day we'll have to get one. That was so cool. Anyway, big thank you to Lloyd for taking us over there and then cook us some dinner too. Had a barbie. But um, yeah, that was good fun. Now we're going to pack up, decide where we're going. We don't really know, do we? No. Thinking free camp somewhere. Yeah. A couple but, of hours south. Yeah. 
don't really have any destinations on our list, do we? <laughs> Not around here, no. Not really sure what to do. Mm. Anyway, we'll figure out what we're doing. Get hooked up. Go somewhere. Okay, so here's the plan. We're going to try to go to a place called Wallace's Landing. Apparently it's just a big open area. There's a boat ramp there and it's a bit of a creek system. Um, we've hit a bit of dirt road and it's quite dusty so we've just chucked the um, mountain air on just so we don't have a bit of dirt inside. We'll get out there and we'll see if it's actually a decent spot or not. It's a free camp. Oh, can you hear that? We've developed a rattle too. Yeah, we and can't find where it's coming from but it's so annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get under <laughs> the car later and figure it out because it is so loud. Driving through air, it's just going <laughs> and the whole way through the town people looking at us. Anyway. It's been really fun. Have a look at this though, like it's flat everywhere and then you've got these beautiful mountains in the background. But it does look like quite a popular campsite, so <laughs> hopefully we can get a spot. So this is Wallace's Landing guys, pretty good spot eh? Nice just big open fields, you got some cows roaming around, um, completely free. And we've got the boat ramp just down there. Beautiful spot, because it's clear, heaps of solar obviously. Gonna see a beautiful sunset later. Pretty happy with this, this is good. Just heard this weird noise from coming out, like coming from outside. Hey guys. No, because there's cows everywhere. Dogs back. So yeah, there's like a million cows around our van. So as beautiful as our campground is here at Wallace's Landing, we're struggling to do anything because the uh, sand flies are just horrid. I literally have stayed inside all day, even with stuff on inside because I was getting hacked in there. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then as soon as the night, uh, like the sun goes down, the mozzies are out. But um, hey, this is what you get when you're going to camp next to a creek really, isn't it? Yeah. A river. So I just, I didn't even try to venture anywhere near the mangroves today because <laughs> I was like, I will get smashed. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're just getting out. We're going to drive 10 minutes back north. There's a lookout and um, we're going to look out the lookout. <laughs> just to get out of the van and do something. Yeah. That's an impressive lookout, isn't it? It is. There's no other mountains around, so you get literally 360 view. Well, you can see why they say don't drive your caravan up here, because it's a steep, short incline. Mm, with some, not some tight turns, just one major one. Like, tight turn. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, this is cool. This is a good lookout. Mm. Worth leaving the caravan for. <laughs> hey, at least we did something. <laughs> High five. Woo! One item ticked off today. The GoPro never does it any justice, but... That, that'll look flat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's so steep. Oh, baby one over here. The cows are back. Oh, Bobby. 
So this is the ritual every time we get back to the van. <laughs> Start with this, followed by baby oil, followed by sunscreen if it's sunny. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> but hey, the little things you put up with to be places like this. Chloe. Chloe, come here. You're not a working dog. <laughs> hey? You're too slow. <laughs> what are you doing, girl? Yeah? Fuck me. <laughs> She's desperate to round him up, eh? Hey? Yeah, this guy's like an old working dog, so he actually knows how to be around cows. She's got no idea. Bowie. 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 Leave them alone. Why does she want to round them up? Stay here. Spread to do. Oh, okay. Hey, check out this in the distance. We've got the sunset literally just glowing over one of those mountains. And then you've got this big smoke um, stack, I guess you call it, from one of the sugar cane mills or a sugar cane fire. I'm not too sure. That? That over there? Yep. Looks like a cloud. Sunset sugar cane. So it turns out that one of those smoke stacks was a sugar cane fire. That's one of the things we did want to do around here, but yeah. you need, um, they want a bit of heads up before you book in yeah. and they can't even guarantee that you'll see a fire. So, apparently. Oh, uh -oh here we go. There we. Okay. These the cows aren't scared, I'll tell you what. <laughs> oh, this other dog here, that's not ours, um, is an ex-working dog. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, dogs. Cooper, Bowie. Dogs, come back here. Sorry, you're saying? So he kind of, no, like, well, he's not kind of, he knows what he's doing. But he's dogs. 17. Dogs. Yeah, he's 17 and got a metal hip and stuff. He's quite old. But, yeah, it's almost like these cows want to get herded. They're, like, coming in real close. All right, super simple dinner tonight. One of our faves though, a few spuds on the fire. Come on, mate, let's chuck them on. Just chuck them in, don't have to be delicate. Yep, and the other ones. Go for it, buddy. Tidy. Hey, morning everyone. We're getting out of here. This is ridiculous. <laughs> yep. It's like, uh, it's eight o'clock in the morning and I've been getting smashed by midges in the van since like 6.30 when I wake up. Um, He's got the citronella candles going. <laughs> outside we've got one of those sticks, the um, citronella sticks, or sandalwood is it? Yep. And um, Erin is now doing this trick. Show us what you found out works. So we met like a lovely couple in Cairns who said that their trick for midgy bites is to boil some water, put a hot spoon in it, and then you put the hot spoon on your bite, which does hurt. It is quite hot, but the heat kills Bacteria the toxin or whatever. or whatever it is that causes the itch. So I was like yesterday desperate to find something to <laughs> like stop the itching and it works. It's really good. So I haven't been like, I got absolutely hacked up here yesterday and normally midgy whites for me itch for days and days and days and I haven't been scratching at all, have I? No. All right. Give me a go on one of my bites. It does Not hurt. I'm there. warning you. You see that one? Yes. <laughs> See, it does hurt. I just do like little taps for the beginning. She did it to me yesterday. Yeah, Bella had it. It, it feels a little bit... Um... Wow, that's actually like fully gone already. Yeah. That's so good. <laughs> I um, These guys were doing it yesterday and I didn't do it. I was like, nah, I'm tough. I'll, I'll sit <laughs> I'll here and scratch. scratch them. <laughs> and yeah, shouldn't have. Shouldn't have just done that. <laughs> anyway, we just can't deal with this. So we're packing up. We would love to stay somewhere like this for longer and get the boat in, but we just can't do it. No. So we're going to go and try and find somewhere else to get the boat in. Yes. Because we don't feel like we've got our money's worth yet. No. <laughs> stay tuned.